Hello. Hi. Trying to be upbeat. This is the ugliest shit imaginable. I'm not going to read the whole article, but I'll post the... I'll put the, the link underneath the video here. Oh. Alright, so here's the highlights. This guy was a high-ranking officer in the United States Army. He and his wife got licenses to foster children and adopt them. He molested them. He made friends in the army to help recruit and have sex with children and share them and pimp them out. He was a pervert while he was in the Middle East in Afghanistan and they sent him home for being a pervert. The army didn't do shit about it. Foster care knew about it. They have 20 years of allegations from kids, from the community, from reports. The kids themselves contacted their advisors. They contacted Child Protective Services themselves. Child Protective Services ignored them or turned them back over to their perverted adopted parents where they were molested. They, this article also mentions three other cases in recent Arizona of people in military, law enforcement, and government that were busted for similar things. John Daly, border patrol agent, was probably the East Valley rapist who was raping people in the 90s and is tied to at least eight rapes from the border. How about that? Dana Thornhill, a year ago, 40-year prison for abusing his own children. He was in a standoff at a church because guess what? He was the chaplain at the Naco border crossing. Paul Adams in 2017 was charged with raping his own daughters. One was just six weeks old. Six weeks old. Taking videos. Posted them on the internet. He offed himself before he went to trial. Guess where he worked? Oh, he worked at the border. Huh, how about that? Guess they need to try harder to screen these people, huh? This isn't a onesie twosie. This isn't something imaginary. This article is the Associated Press. This is his global homo. This is his Zionistic. This is as liberal narrative munching as you can get. And it lays it all out here. This is a this is maybe at most a twenty minute read where it talks about the army failed. It talks about Child Protective Services failed. It talks about the state failed. The police department failed. Welfare checks failed. Border Patrol failed. And these aren't on accident. And these aren't so rare. I don't want to get too preachy. I'm kind of bummed out. I'll just be droning. But there is a problem. Oh, let me put it like this. The Ukraine is to distract you from the vaccine, to distract you from COVID, to distract you from uh, Epstein and the, to, to distract from the election to distract from the trucker blah 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 and then the Will Smith all the socials uh, slapping the guy on the Oscars well what about when Ricky Gervais called everybody in Hollywood a fucking pedophile oh see how quickly you forget well what about Weinstein remember he was Hollywood's big thing right oh you don't talk about that no more you want to know who's the bad guy? They're not talking about the real problem. The real problem is kids. Why are pedophiles high-ranking in the military? Why didn't they screen them out? 
Why are pedo why does CPS have backlogs of 6,500 complaints? Why why are CPS workers so woefully unskilled and un not? This, these exploits in the system aren't happenstance, and they're not an accident. The system has been taken over. The entire infrastructure, our government, our state agencies, our law enforcement, our military, our senate, it, all of it, it's been taken over by money that's... And the money is pedophiles I, like I don't know an easier way to how do you uh, the system as it operates now by the powers that are running it is fueled by the innocence of children they want to sex children, kill children, get children addicted, make children possessive properties, they, they categorize, quantify, make children a product because then they're products for life. If a government official, if law enforcement, if military, if anybody that says that they're in the interest of helping children isn't talking about what is going on to children and how the government has been failing to acknowledge it and none of these candidates are addressing it and all of them want you to look every other way but but at this real persistent issue do you get it yet there's only one problem and it's the pedophiles running the country Call them Zios, call them Jews, whatever. Pedophiles running the country, running the economy, running social media, running all of it. Don't you see it? I'm trying to cheer up, guys. Have a good day.